Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On this video, I'll show you how to manufacture the window and surface cleaner. It's a formulation that I'm going to give up. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, for the first time ever, make sure that you subscribe. Smash that like button for me. Also consider dropping us a comment below. So how is this video going to be structured? As I said, I'm going to give you out the formulation on how to manufacture the window and surface cleaner. This is one product with double action, okay, or double uses. It can be used as a window cleaner. It can be also used as a surface cleaner. So we're first going to state ingredients. Then from there, I'll show you in which sequence to mix them and the related amount of each. Also, there are very important and necessary details, okay, that will be explained all along the video. So make sure that you remain tuned till the end so that you can learn this. Let's start by stating ingredients, okay? What are the ingredients that you need to manufacture the window and surface cleaner? The ingredients are, we do have water, the MP called LX28, we do have IPA, that simply stands for isopropyl alcohol. We do have the propylene glycol. We do have butyl oxytol, okay? Also called ethylene glycol monobutyl ether. We do have soda ashlite, formalin, which is our preservative, okay? The fragrance, you can always decide on the fragrance of your choice, okay? And uh, the dye, you also have to decide on the dye of your choice. That's it. These are the ingredients that you need to manufacture the window and surface cleaner, okay? But please, you need to note that while manufacturing this product, you need to consider to adjust the pH to about 11 to 12, okay? To obtain a quality product. Why? Simply because this product performs very well when it has a pH of around 11 to 12. That's it. Now, let us consider making or manufacturing 100 liters of window and surface cleaner, okay? For you to manufacture 100 liters of window and surface cleaner, what do you need? Water. Water should be 90 comma 75% of the total volume, okay? Out of the 100 liters that we manufacture, we're going to need 90 comma 75 liters of water. That's it. The next ingredient, MP called LX28, this should be 2% of the total volume, okay? This is actually done by volume. Out of the 100 liters that we manufacture, we need to consider 2 liters of Impicol LX28. The next ingredient, it's our IPA, okay? That stands for isopropyl alcohol. This should be 3,5% of the total volume. Out of our 100 liters of window and surface cleaner that we manufacture, we need to consider 3,5 liters of isopropyl alcohol, okay? 3,5 liters, we just mean three liter and half, okay? Or three liters and 500 minutes. You need to get used to this. That's it. Then the next ingredient is propylene glycol. This should be 0,25% of the total volume. Out of the 100 liters of window and surface cleaner that we manufacture, we need to consider 250 mils of propylene glycol. That's it. The next ingredient is butyl oxytone, okay? as we said, also called ethylene glycol monobutyl ether. This should be 1% of the total volume. Out of our 100 liters that we manufacture, we need to consider one liter of butyl oxytone. That's it. The next ingredient to consider here is soda ashlite. This should be 0.5% of the total volume, okay? Out of our 100 liters that we manufacture, we need to consider 500 grams of soda ash light. The next ingredient is formalin, okay? Formalin, which is our preservative, we need to consider 1% of the total volume, which is actually one liter of formalin, just to give a better life shell to our product. That's it. The next ingredient is fragrance, okay? We consider 1% of the total volume. 
out of our 100 liters, this is one liter of fragrance, then comes the dye, okay? Dye, we say QS, which simply means quantity sufficient. Remember that you need to put the dye according to the appearance that you want to give to your product, okay? That's it. By doing this, you actually obtain 100 liters of window, okay? And surface cleaner. That's it. Thank you guys for watching, okay? Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. As I always say that there is a lot to learn from here, trust me. And I want you to be part of this learning journey. Why not? This will actually add value to yourself. Make sure that you like our visions. Share them. Also consider suggesting the channel to people you know with the interest of learning. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and see you on the next video.